Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavas. Let's play some Star Tropics. Look at this fish. Looking island. What's in this tiny village? More fish. All kinds of fish. A whale! Man, hopefully I don't come across that. This kind of reminds me of that fish, fishing village in... What's that, Dragon Warrior 3? Tuna Cola, of course, of course. And su <laughs> Sushi Cola, the raw fish eater island. What's up, little kid? Your name is Bait? I wouldn't go near the water. Oh, really? In the East Ocean? Well, I better go. That could be my uncle. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to do here. Let's just go for a nice, peaceful sail. In the East Ocean. Um, oh no. I should have just went to Nineveh. Well, it looks like we're in the belly of a whale. I wonder if Geppetto and Pinocchio are in here. Maybe. You don't look like my uncle. Oh, it's Babu! Yeah, it's a bad place to really have to meet someone. Oh no, it was Mr. Saturn. Oh, well that's good. Alright, Let, let's do it. Oh no. Alright, I guess it's up to me to find the lighter. Alright, well the trick to finding this is you're going to take the ship the whole way. So if there's ever a part where you can depart, you don't want to go that way. And I'm trying to remember exactly which way. Now if you do go trekking on foot, it will help you like figure out the way, kind of. Or you can just stay in the water. probably your best bet. You'll run into a lot of dead ends on foot, because uh, there'll be these fish bones. Now if you submerge here, you can travel through. And for some reason, these giant fish bones, we can't climb over or anything. You may see some here. Now, I don't think we want to go in that hole. I think that'll take us back. I want to go in this one. And then up here. Yeah, just stick to the water pass. Now we don't want to go across that. That'll also take us back. But we can go through here. There's one of those fish bones. Now we can finally depart. And look what we have right over here. That's a huge lighter. It's like bigger than my Sprite. I don't know what he needs with a lighter that big, but let's take it back to him. This kid must have the pockets of the, uh, your typical adventure game, people. And down, yeah, here we go. Well, I found the lighter. Sweet. Set the raft on fire. We got a sub. We're good. Uh-oh. Some weird hallucination. Hopefully, someone can pull you out of this game. And we luckily land on an island, and our sub luckily lands right next to it. Well, that's probably a good thing. What was his last words? You said that like he died. 
Dip my letter in water? No, I don't. Did he? See, what uh, he's referring to there is if you bought this game brand new at the store, it came with a letter uh, from your uncle that just said, I can't remember exactly what it said, but telling you about the islands and stuff, and there is this empty spot at the bottom. Well, if you actually dip this letter in water, it was written with uh, an invisible ink that would make numbers appear. And I'm pretty sure, like, Nintendo Power even put out a thing in their tips and tricks that told you this code eventually, because so many people, like, either rented this game, or got it used, borrowed it, or they lost the letter, and, uh, they couldn't get any further. I'm pretty sure the place I rented this from came with this little, like, slip that said what the code was. Uh, but what it is, in case you don't know, is 7... Four, seven. So if you didn't know that, you know, you only had a thousand combinations to try out. If you started at zero, 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 it's going to take you a while. Captain Bell, Chapter 5. Pirates. Oh yeah, we get to hang out with some pirates. Looks like there's nothing over here yet. Let's see what's going on in this town. Well, so do I. I don't. Okay. Once again, we have to talk to everyone in town. Wow, that is pretty old. Bell Cola. Following with this, everything ends with cola. I guess these uh, developers thought Americans loved cola. Yeah, that pirate ship seemed to be blocking it. I hope you're better than Poe. So my bell, me so. Okay, you say so. I've heard that. Okay, I talked to everyone. Do you know who I am now? There we go. What's up, dude? Did you? Well, I'm going to meet you back at Peter, and uh, yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Here we are, back at Peter. I got a gift, though. 
I've got a worm. Oh. Do me so far. Do me. Or do me so far. Do me. Is he singing a song? Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and meet you back, uh, at that hut. So, here we are, back outside of this hut. And once again, we can walk through some mountains, I believe, down this way. Now, you don't want to follow that path up, you actually want to come left like I just did. Now we can get to the secret shrine with music that also, once again, reminds me of Dragon Warrior. Okay, I won't. <laughs> really? Well, now we've entered the toy store in big, so let's play chopsticks. Or we can play do, re, mi, so do, mi, so... No, that's fa. Do, re, mi, fa. So yeah. Okay, let's start over. Do, mi. So, fa, do, mi. I probably messed it all up. Let's go outside. Of course, I would mess it all up. We're doing what the bird told us. Do me so far, do me. So do me. Do re mi fa so. La ti, right? So so fa. Do me. There we go. And the fires disappear. And now we can go down these steps. We can also go down these steps. This looks like a dead end, but if you look close enough, this section of the wall seems a little weird. That's nice, and it'll fill us up. Come on, it takes so long for this. And you also notice when you go up the stairs, that wall like kind of disappears. That's another hint. Hey, we made it out here. Next time we're going to tackle this area. This area is pretty fun. It's tough, but it's fun. Look at that slug just kissing the wall. This is all Jalavos playing Star Tropics. See you all next time.